This video will show you three powerful ways to increase the emotion you feel to attract what you want. I'm gonna show you practical tools that you can apply to make it so that you already feel like you have what you want to experience. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you exactly how you can increase your emotion and understanding really that you can direct your emotion in a powerful way by using your own focus, by having the perspectives that are necessary from a higher level paradigm to really create what you want in your life. Now, how does the emotions affect the law of attraction? Well, when it comes to the law of attraction, think of motion and emotion in the form of whatever we are feeling, we are gravitating towards. Think of emotion as the fuel to the fire. The more emotion we feel, the more prompted we will feel to take action, the more likely we are to really gravitate. Think of emotion in the form of a magnet. Anytime we are feeling more emotion, we are more magnetizing our desires and we're making it much more likely that we're going to take action from a powerful place because it becomes something that's very real for us. It's something that we can feel, which is why a lot of times they say that with emotion, it comes from motion. So as we put our bodies into motion, as we take action, we are able to increase our emotion at the same time. Now, the powerful part of this whole process has to do with what we focus on. Whatever we focus on, we will feel more of, and whatever we focus on will grow. So knowing this, we can then ask ourselves the questions, what am I currently focused on? What perspectives do I currently have? And how is that influencing what I feel? Now, the first way that we can increase our emotion is by shifting our focus onto what we prefer to feel and knowing that as we shift our focus, we shift our emotions. So if we find ourselves feeling negative emotions, a lot of times that's coming from focusing on perspectives that don't serve us, from labeling meanings as to things being negative when really they're just simply neutral. It's up to us and the perspective that we focus on. Now, understand that if you feel positive emotion, it comes from putting more and more energy on those positive things and having, once again, the perspective of something meaning something positive. So the power of this comes from the awareness that anything you focus on will grow and that if you find yourself feeling negative emotion, all you have to do is shift your focus. Maybe at the same time you can deal with whatever you are working with. Maybe you realize you're associating a negative meaning as to something and you can change that but change the focus, change the perspective by choosing your focus rather than it going to default. Many times when it comes to emotion, people remain in a default space. They're just reacting to their environment. When in reality, you change your emotions by choosing your perspective and by really knowing that you have that ability. The one thing we really have in life is the ability to choose what we focus on and the ability to choose what things mean in our life. So what I wanna encourage you to do is to focus more on things that bring you growth. Focus more on perspectives that make you feel better. And as you move up this scale, as you move up the scale that I show in a lot of my videos, you shift yourself out of perspectives of saying, I am angry at this, or I feel this way, shameful, or all of these perspectives. We then shift our focus onto a higher level paradigm. We start to see things from a new point of view. And as we do that, we find that everything begins to change. So the first way to increase your emotion is to increase your focus in a certain direction and realize that as you do that, everything begins to change. Now the second thing we can do when it comes to increasing emotion has to do with the meanings that we are attaining to certain things. Now this is something I also talk a lot about because our reality is a reflection of what we believe to be true. Our reality is a reflection of the meaning we impose onto it. If we feel negative emotion, maybe it's becoming from a negative perspective or a negative definition as to what something means, when instead, we could simply decide that we're going to see the positive in whatever we are experiencing, even if that positive is a lesson. As we have that definition, things 
begin to reflect from it. That becomes our experience. So the power in this is knowing that everything is fundamentally neutral. The analogy I always use is the idea of a rainy day is not positive or negative. It depends upon your perspective as to the effect you get out of it. Somebody like me from Las Vegas, I love the rain. I get positive emotion when it's around because it's something I don't experience very often. Somebody from Oregon or from Seattle that is so used to rainy days might not like it because of the experience Experience they've had in the past and the meaning they tag onto it. So in the same way, you can increase your emotion by giving positive meanings to the things that happen in your life. If something happens that appears to be negative, know you will get some type of positive effect out of it, even if that positive effect is learning, is knowing now which direction to go in, is just remaining in that frame. You'd be surprised if you hold your frame for knowing something will bring something positive to you that as you focus on that, that will grow. You will find something, you will find a seed in there that plants something that begins to become something that's very real for you and something that is powerful and positive. Now, the third way that we can increase emotion has to do with knowing that whatever we associate with pleasure, we will feel more of and whatever we associate pain, we will move away from. So as we know that that's how our motivational mechanism works, that's how we can really determine what we are moving towards and what we are moving away from. Now, in general, if we associate pleasure with the process, if we associate pleasure with the grind, we call it the grind, which normally has a negative connotation, we will start to feel more positive emotion with it. You see, many times we simply think that the things we're doing, that that's something that we should be like resistant towards. We think that we should be resistant towards taking action. But the power in this is knowing we don't have to judge those things. We don't have to assume they need to be negative. I associate pleasure with taking action, therefore I love taking action. A lot of people associate action with something negative, so that keeps them from taking action because of that association. You choose your associations, you can choose that you are going to do what you want to do, and as you choose to associate pleasure with it, you start to see the positives in it, you have a stronger vision, you will feel more positive emotion. So the best way to get positive emotion and to start to associate pleasure is to have a vision for what you want to experience. Maybe that vision is you being a certain body weight and you know that if you felt and you had that kind of lifestyle, you looked that way, you would feel so good about yourself. Well, what you can do is to start to associate pleasure with working out and then going to the gym and eating healthy food. Now, at first, you might not enjoy it so much because we have conditioned expectation and conditioned associations to leafy salads being un, like unsatisfying, not stimulating enough, or going to the gym as being hard and you can feel sore afterwards. But you see the associations change as you do it and you start to get pleasure from it. That's why going to the gym feeling sore the next day that can be a positive thing because you know that that's allowing you to grow. You know that you put in work yesterday when you went to the gym. Eating healthy food makes you feel so much energy, so vitalized. So guess what? You start to associate pleasure with it. Realize that whatever you associate with pleasure, you will move towards. Whatever you associate with pain, you will move away from. Associate pain with eating unhealthy food. Associate pain with not going to the gym because you know that that will affect your hormone levels. You see, it's a simple switch in the mind, but as we start to do that, we will feel positive emotion towards the things that priorly we didn't enjoy, and that simply comes from the focus, it comes from understanding the meaning, and it really comes from putting a positive association to those things. So remember, all you have to do is first off, increase your emotions. Don't judge yourself for any emotion that you're feeling. The power is in the focus, not in trying to change your feelings. Change your focus, you'll change what you feel, and then that will grow. Then secondly, know that the meaning as to what things means is fundamentally neutral. It's up to you to tailor what that is, and as you give positive meaning to things, you will get positive effect. And then thirdly, as you simply decide that what you're gonna do is associate pleasure with the process, associate pleasure with doing things that you want to do and having a strong vision, you will start to see that things change before your eyes. So 
With that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Feel free to like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and also hit that little notification gear next to the subscribe button so that you're able to see the daily vids that I do. So other than that, peace, much love, namaste.